tower, this is the health labs right here. So anything for the health labs will come in on this panel. Everything I said about this panel also applies to this panel and the labs. This area where we're standing right now is considered the command post for any activations in the tower or the health labs. Obviously, if there's a major, major fire, they're probably going to move the command post, but this is where it's going to start out. So, again, fire alarm panel key will open this. I'm actually going to close this now because we don't need this anymore. And down below, the same key will open the key box. So, down here, Here's all the rest of the keys you might need. Uh, each key has a key number, which is on the tag. It will tell you what the key number is and what it's designed to open. For the most part, all you're going to need is some of the, these are all just mechanical spaces. Uh, the elevator key, elevator key is a big one, and we'll go over that in a minute, as to what elevators you're going to need to take. If you want to take a look, I'll have you just kind of actually hang on to that until we're done. These are fire phones. Uh, the system is still in place. It does still work. Uh, but again, the radio's reception in this building is way, way better. A lot more repeaters. They really did a good job upgrading it. So we really have not had any issues with radio reception, even down in the parking levels and the basements of this building. But if you want to grab a phone, there you go. All right, so when an alarm goes off, so when an alarm goes off, you have elevators that will automatically recall based on the location of the alarm. For those that don't know, you have three banks of elevators in this building. You have low rise, mid rise, and high rise. 2 to 14, 14 to 29, 29 to 42, okay? So let's say the, uh, the alarm activation is on 420. 420 would cause the mid-rise elevators to recall, but not the low rise or the high rise. They would stay in normal operation, okay? Unless we go to a full building evacuation, in which case they will all recall. The freight elevators, which we'll go to next, will recall on any alarm. So the freight elevators are actually your primary elevators for tenant evacuation. Anyone that cannot take the stairs that needs assistance being evacuated is trained and instructed to go to the freight elevator lobby and await further instructions and or evacuation. That's where some of those messages come in quite important because you get a lot of antsy people sitting there wondering what's going on. Um, but there, you can also use the passenger elevator to say, "Go, let's." We have a confirmed fire on the 20th floor. You can take the passenger elevator with your equipment, go to the 19th floor, and get ready to stage your attack one floor below, while still leaving the freight elevators to be used to evacuate anybody in the affected area that you have to get out. Uh, tenant safety does have a system where they will call state police with floor reports. They're supposed to let them know, you know, is the floor clear and is anyone waiting at the elevators? If they will, they will give that to us over the air. If we're not here, they will give it to somebody over mutual ops. Or at least say, hey, we definitely have people on this floor that need to be evacuated. So that's why it's another good reason to kind of listen to that mutual ops channel when you're here. Any updates that come from state police, that's their only way to get a hold of it. We can switch to your frequency on our portables. They cannot. They can only talk to you on mutual ops. All right? All right, so let's go down. Any questions so far about any of that? All right, let's take a walk down. To